I no, bought a job. With the whole lottery shit. I bought a job. Fuck. Look like this. He said, Dang, what up? <clears throat> Welcome back to the Street University, man. Me and Lil Bro up in here, man. Podcasting. Y'all already know what's up. Hit that like button, run the likes up, man. <laughs> yes, sir. I know a lot of people be out there camera shop up. It's okay. It's okay. Let me move this out of the way in our room. I ain't gas mask this up yet. It's wild. We usually do. But what's popping? We just talking about these goofballs out here, man. What y'all? We talking about these goofballs. Everything else above. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And everything else above. Who was we just talking about, bro? If they put the hit on Jerry Springer. What? Hey, what? Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. R.I.P. Jerry Springer, man. But what if they put the hit on y'all? What if one of them motherfuckers out there that was? Uh, 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 that he was reporting on all this time because you know everything he did, he had to report and get his money off of. But what if they threw the hit out on him? Like, man, let's get rid of Jerry. What the hell? No, I'm fucking with y'all. I know they didn't know, but <clears throat> Jerry died, uh, whatever Jerry died from art. Yeah. But the shit be crazy because his be out there like that. That's how they put them hits out there on what, bro. That's how the hits come to your motherfucker, man, and pay you good for one, you know, they pay you marvelously. Handsome and see well for one. <clears throat> Would y'all take hit money? <laughs> they like, damn, this nigga gonna access that on YouTube. My fuck with y'all too. Don't be like the dummies from Old Block. Don't be like the dummies from Old Block. RP, Big Clout. You know, foolish shit right there, though. It's, it's a lot of foolishness out here that people do to, you know what I'm saying? Try to earn themselves some money. I don't think that should be cool. Like the nigga that robbed the um, armored truck in my uh, state game. The nigga robbed the armored truck, right? And uh, he 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 get the armor. He get to the armored truck, robbed this motherfucker. It was an older man that was on the truck. Uh, what did he do? He popped him down, bro. Popped the man down. Uh, ran with the cat. on the G. He get dropped the, the cat on the G. Picked up about well, how much money you say worth? Folks, it was only like a handful, at, at least two hundred, bro. And the, the nigga, nigga they, took off. and they found over a hundred thousand on the floor. The nigga dropped the rest of the money, y'all. Left the money bag, didn't get away with the shit, man. The man went to the house, laid it down, man. Like, what type of shit is that, man? What type of shit is that, gang? Yeah, don't worry about my background. You know, I just don't want no stupid people behind this point that's on YouTube. Don't, don't come here. Don't worry about my background. I always talk what type of stupid shit is that though, y'all? Like the man, and then look, the man ended up dying that he shot the armored guard dude that you know that got shot during the process. He died, bro. Like a couple days later, dude got caught who took the money. Like what type of shit is this, nigga? You get caught, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh. Now you finna go serve some hard jail time, my nigga. Uh, uh. Shit ain't looking so swell for you. Uh. Like, man, who put they sales in those predicaments, man? I mean, I wouldn't have done that. Would you, bro? Would you would have went and robbed the motherfucking armor truck? Shot the old man and dropped the money? All right, you talking to the dark side of the floor. You're right. It depends. Not the way he did it for a certain. Nah, that boy. But I don't think I would. Yeah, definitely not the way he did it. If, he, <laughs> if anything, just saying, y'all, allegedly, this ain't what we want to do. We just saying, like, if, if we was to reenact the, the scene, you know, uh, uh, educational purpose reasons. So he shot the guard thinking that was going to be the only guard, and another guard popped out. Shot on his ass and popped back, y'all. And and now you running off, you got a skedaddle off, gang. And one you, for, for 200 bucks, and he peeled off, they got the driver uh, license plates. Dighead. Killed the man. <laughs> bro, what the fuck you think they're gonna do to this nigga in jail? What, what the, what the, not the people. <laughs> what you think the, <laughs> the, the judge? Yeah, the system gonna do to him, folks. Yeah, the system's money. They like this. The system. Oh, let me put this boom down, y'all. The system, like, we got one. We got one. Yes. No, they're not that yeah. furious right now. You just went and tried to steal that shit. That, was, that too. That the they furious too. That was the money they had. You went after that. All right. We got to do you one. Hey, we can't lie. They is furious about that game. They like, hold the fuck up. 
This this you tried to block us. Yeah. You just lost one of our and then you think whether you think they were or not, they was a part of the system, but you dropping one of their <laughs> Over oh, funky ass dollars, you got away with two hundred dollars. That's true. That's crazy. You know, really just stayed there and picked up everything. On the G, he should have just stayed his bitch ass there and picked up everything. If you was gonna risk your life like that, and that's what we be saying. Stop risking your lives out here for a little piece of nothing. A little piece of chump change, y'all. You know that shit don't take you nowhere, man. That shit don't take you nowhere. It ain't gonna take you nowhere. And that's why I feel like uh, he deserved whatever he got coming. In. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we can't really, we can't really. Um, what goes around comes around. Yeah, he said it better. What goes around comes around. Comes. That shit right there, that that took a lot from the motherfucking neighborhood, nigga. Now you got every black man hot again. You feel me? Like he got us all hot, John. That shit crazy. Like bro said, I wouldn't have did it the way he did it. Motherfucker, I would have to splinter cell plot this shit out. Out of GTA plotted that shit out. Yeah, like be <clears throat> you better not do no type of shit like that without no damn plan. That was awful, like off tip. Yeah, that was I mean, off that tip. Oh, you know, I saw that truck park there before. Yeah. I was like, fuck it. You know what here on Wednesday? Next time shit. we come back, we're going to get it on some shit like that. Like, what type of bullshit is that? Probably didn't even have a plan. You ain't have a backup plan for the nigga that was inside the truck. On the Jeep, the driver should have made his own plan. Literally, I'm going to get killed in the process of this. Just like before, last time a motherfucker died, you know what I'm saying? Trying to ride one of them spots again. They just killed the man for some cakes. Yeah, yeah, up here, y'all in the Midwest, they did. They just, a security guard just popped the man down for some cakes. No, I think the security guard just got killed. No, 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 no. I thought the security guard did the shooting. I just wanted to live video. Yeah. I just was watching, bro. The dude said he was a security guard. And he wasn't even a security guard. He had mental issues. He just got popped in the back of his shit over some cakes. I thought they said the security guard at the gas station or at whatever store it was at, y'all. The the man shot a man coming to steal some cakes. The nigga right? wasn't alive. He said we boycotting the. No, yeah, it might have been the security guard. Might have yeah, because they looking because for they him. Already, the they don't say nothing. They won't give him no deserved. information. Yeah, the, the uh, gas station people won't give him no information, though, y'all. Yeah, they you said know? the people right there right now uh, is out there. His people is out there boycotting the gas station. They got it what? blocked off. Well, yeah, they was out there yesterday. He was like, he said, this is his blood. He said, it was his blood in the water. Blood. Yeah, man. They out there. It was out there, boy. Got it. But look, look, look. Um, I think what's the name? That's what mom was talking about. You know, she was saying something like, um, I'm trying to find you. Let me see the video. <clears throat> hey, y'all. Yeah, mom was talking about that. Like the brother said, like, um, uh, a motherfucker came in trying to steal the cakes or whatever. When our security guard overdid his job. Uh, popped him. They said he shot him in the head. They yeah, they said he shot him in the head, y'all. Now, that's crazy. That's deep. That he different because why in the fuck are you doing all this shooting? You feel me? And uh, you think that shit justified. The Arabian people that own the gas station, you know, furthermore, did not want to release no information. Now, that's deep, too. And that hit different because uh, the black the black person family, uh, uh, you know, or the person that done got killed, the deceased victim, uh, they want justice, you know. Now, they said they know who they're looking for. They know uh, they got, you know, the information of the person, whatever, or not, I guess. But the thing is this, how long is it going to take to get the cat? And that's, and that's why I made that video yesterday. I said we need our own justice system amongst our melanated people. We need our own justice system. We need to be able to hold courts in our streets ourselves instead of sending him through the um, white man's uh, jurisdiction system, you know, to get uh, uh, punished. <clears throat> because the black family of the, the victim ain't satisfied by the white man's punishment to this man. They might smack him on the wrist, give him two, give him four years, two years in, and two years on probation. Y'all know how they've been doing people down here in the Midwest. You find a video? Right. Y'all know how they've been doing people down here in the Midwest, man. This shit look ugly, man. It ain't cool. And, uh, you know, I think we in a year that we shouldn't even be fighting over no racial no more. But, hey, I had said there's still some stupid people out here who 
still want to push the race agenda or whatever the case may be. Now, this thing wasn't, I'm, I'm sure the person that shot the nigga was a nigga. This one make it even worse. So now the nigga let the Arabian trick him out of his position. The nigga let the Arabian trick him out of his spot. You feel me? To shoot another black man over some punk ass case that this nigga ain't bought. He ain't finna get no cut out of these cakes. He ain't finna get no cut out of these cakes. Um, yeah, you good, bro. You can. <clears throat> he ain't finna get no cut, no percentage. He ain't no, getting no. Right, y'all. No, you good. All that smart shit on my though. shit don't work like that. But bro, this nigga ain't finna get no cut out of something. Nothing out this gas station. All he doing is getting paid probably one hundred and twenty dollars a week. Every two weeks, let me take that back. Every two weeks, just to protect this bum ass Arabian dude. And no disrespect to the Arabians, I love the shit out of all my cultures out there. Um, at the end of the day, these bum motherfuckers, and the only reason I'm saying they bums because they 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 won't even you know cooperate and 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 tell the people what's up. You know, because y'all shot this man for nothing. Some cakes, gang. You shot your own kind for some cakes, nigga. So now you let another culture trick you and bamboozle you into doing that. Damn. What up? What was we just talking about that I said that they came back on the Wednesday? Uh, on the, the truck, the armor truck. I got some good ass cookies in out. Yeah, the truck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got them good boys. Ooh, these motherfuckers fire, y'all. When I say fire. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But man, it's deep. It's deep. And they hit different up here in the Midwest. Yeah, there for Shopping TKs. Dead for shoplifting cakes, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. That hit different. Hey, I just gave me and my little brother was down at the gas station. Young black brother was down there for an argue with the Arabian dude or the Indian dude. You know, I, I apologize. And the dude cool. The gas station dude cool as fuck. We respect him. He respect us. He respect the family. Give us free shit. He look out. All that good shit, man. He a respectable dude, you know, and he's stand-up dude. Um, black homie ready to hop on his head for two dollars. So right away, me being the life path number six, nah, I'm not your life paths out there, man. Um, I automatically intervened and came to help the situation and defuse the situation to bring peace to the motherfucker. I asked the young dude, like, what you need, gang? Hell, oh, no, I'm good. He finna reverse me all my money. This nigga finna get my shit. This ain't the other. Then he on the phone. Me and liberal him say, that was his last $2. So... I don't know if he said the last, but I know he said he's gonna give me back that time. Or something. He said that was all I got. I heard him say yeah. that was his last. That was all he got. He yeah, because he was on his ass. And the nigga said, um, I had a five dollar bill, so he like, hey bro, I'll buy that for you, bro. I'll get that for you. Just you can buy me a black mouth. I'm like, okay, and yeah, you know how that go. He, you know how you know how we do it, black America. I don't want to put too much out there, but I'm like, yeah, here, then, here, boom, bam. Gave him the five, gang. Told him to keep it. He like, for real? Yeah, keep that. You know, all I bought was a little bit of nothing. I'm talking about it wasn't even worth five. But it was to defuse the, the beef that was finna take place, the problem that was finna, you know, be at hand, gang. Um, that was the best way, and that was my way to defuse that. You know, got the dog good, the, the cashier good. Now he ain't got to give me attitude when I pay for my stuff. You feel me? It all worked out. Um, and everybody got to have a good day. But now, it seems like can't nobody do that out here no more, man. Um, it seems like can't nobody really narrate that 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 energy, master that type of level thing, you know, energy, and, and, and have the world thing like that from block to block, hood to hood. It's easy, trust me. It's easy. 
uh, it ain't gonna happen overnight, but it's easy. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's a game plan you can work on. It's something you can learn to uh, uh, pursue. But I liked it the way that it ended due to the fact that it didn't end in no violence and it didn't end in no harm. Almost like everything else ended out here. You see how the hip hop world is crumbling. So much violence, so much, you know, chaos, so much backdooring. Uh, you know, this shit don't comes to an end, it seems. And now I hit the streets, you know, motherfuckers, they doing all type of robberies. I mean, don't get it twisted. This shit been going on for years, but at the end of the day, it's maxed out. You know, it's, it's hitting its max now, you know. It's, um. It's, it's wild, you know, and it's they getting younger and younger, younger, and ain't nobody out there that's adults teaching in your ass nothing. So, but I ain't gonna hold y'all too much. Oh, you got the video? Mm. Blessings, I'm you know the I'm you, bro. But they show you where you the gas station where all the shooting and everything else happened. Uh, little sis Natty's son just got killed. Got shot in the back of the head as he's walking out the store uh, over a box of cakes. The issue is what the store owner stated. The store owner stated after he got shot in the back of the head as he lay on the on the concrete dead. The security guard wasn't even no security guard. He had he had mental issues. Um, this is what I'm saying, y'all. Blood running down his concrete. Uh. His mama on her way right around the corner. Watch out, what's that? Uh, the store owner, the gas station owner, said that's what he get. Look, listen to this shit, man. To help them, huh? His blood is mixing it up. This got to stop. You know, we talk about we we community. Um, let's show that we community. Let's, let's show these people that we're not allowing them to be in the streets. Let's show them that we're not allowing them to get away with killing our people. Right. We're killing on our people. Disrespect. We, okay. we the ones that are the people 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 that a lot of these stores to stay open because we're the ones that patronize them. Yeah. If they're not going to respect us, why, why continue to patronize them? Once again, man, they, one of our children have died right outside of one of these stores. This and that's right sad, gang. Yeah. There's been multiple shootings every year. And they this is the shit I'm talking them. about, man, out here in Midwest. So, you feel me? This shit goes on, man. I'm going to show you all something. He walked into the. Uh, this is the bloody water. This is the bloody water. This is the bloody water. That's not dirt, that's blood. Sagging. Eh? That his sister tried to sweep away. This is the blood. Try to sweep the boy blood away, you know, off the ground. That's deep. Yeah, that hit different. That hit that different, man. That shit. That's that's the shit we need to be out here fighting for, man. We need to we need to be out here really fighting for that and really trying to uh, help our people better ourselves and and, and and the other cultures. Like I said, it ain't no disrespect to no other cultures out there. But you see that shit you heard with the Arabian said. That's what he get. That's what he deserved. You feel me? And uh, uh, I understand they play a different ball game in their country because they play tough in their country. It's a different. You feel me? It's a different ground. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but we need to it's really funny, fight for that shit, man. It we need to stick together, black people. Well, I just was in the store yesterday getting that shit for cops. The black man in the store was just telling the uh, telling mom around the corner was like, he said uh, something, 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 because the dude was in there. And the black dude was standing up there, and he tried to like basically put it off on him and tried to like come in quick and say, oh, <laughs> with them. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, I'm my cousin, that's my cousin right there, but the old, the older dude, you know, can't for his cousin shit. He's like, hold on, fuck me, you ain't your cousin. You ain't your cousin, bro. Get, get, get out the stuff. Because he was like, he said, yeah, you got to keep him off your block. Because he said, you know, we can't touch him. He said, I don't want him. Right. Like, I understand that we can't. You know what I'm saying? Right. Touch him, you're not supposed to touch him. You're supposed to you can call the police and get them out the store. Well, okay. I was some case, bro. Shot the boy in the back of the head. Doing wrong is wrong. 
But that what was, if he was starving? What if they didn't have no food at home? Like, yeah, and that's true though. Doing wrong is wrong, y'all. We can't, we can't, we can't fight against that. You know, that's the devil's advocate move. Wrong. But we don't know the situation so of that wrong, boy. Why don't make the it right. No, I don't. Two wrongs don't know the right. Two wrongs right there. You shot him in the back of the head of a cake. In the back of the head of a cake, y'all. I need to put that. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all. Beating him up would have been a better outcome than just outright ending it over the cake. Hey man, y'all make sure y'all tap in, man. I love y'all. Go to a and get bro, oh, gang, gang, gang. What's up, man? This your boy Colonel Slaughter, man. Welcome back to the Street University. I like to thank all y'all who came out. You know, gave me a little bit of your time by coming to my channel. Both channels watching the video. I really appreciate y'all, man. And those of y'all that did not hit the subscribe button as you step in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Those of y'all that did not hit that like button as you step in or step out. You feel me? Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Make sure my views match my likes, gang. So y'all can keep me in the algorithm and keep me moving and grooving. You feel me? How y'all have been doing, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know I love y'all. Without y'all, it wouldn't be a me. So, man, I'm out.